Wow, you guys couldn't deal with like what? Six spiders? They're not even that dangerous. Oh, it's ebony. That's what they've been mining. It's ebony ore by the looks of things. I could be wrong. But I'm mining it anyway. Fuck them. If this is now an ebony and an iron mine, that means this should be a good place to come back to every now and again. And a good source of ebony. Because uh, I think we're running quite low. There's a dead person down here. Anything in any of these? Nope. Anything in the walls we can mine? Doesn't look like it. More ebony. Yeah, it does look like they've been mining up ebony. I mean, I could have just told him that. I thought it was going to be some super cool new ore that I hadn't heard of. But I guess not. Eh. Where's the iron then? Because I'm only finding ebony. Lydia, get the fuck out of the way. And you know what? I'm just going to get my pickaxe out and do it that way because it's so much quicker. Like... Like, look how much quicker this is, right? Done. Uh, next one. Where's the next piece? Like... I don't even see any iron, to be fair. Oh, okay, well apparently that's it. Well, that was a waste of my time. I was going to show you guys that that's so much quicker doing it that way, but... Well, hello. Oh, it doesn't look like we can even get in there. Well, that's it. We've got some ebony. I didn't find any iron in there, so clearly they're lying. Oh. Ugh, your spiders are dead. I don't think I'll ever understand that one. Well then, keep your thoughts to yourself, you prick. I don't care. Fuck off. I'll pay you five pound bounty. I want to talk to this guy. I'm not waiting. Oh. By the order of the yard. Fuck off. Stop right there. I can make all your problems. Words can't get to the yard that quickly and back. What? I just paid the money. Don't fucking drag me out of his house, you prick. I'm gonna stab you up. I was trying to talk to that guy, you asshole. Did I lose anything? Um. I'm okay, I've still got the Elder Scrolls. I don't think we lost anything. But now we're in fucking Riften. I didn't want to be here, you asshole. Where the fuck was I over there? Why would the girl even care if I randomly broke into someone's house? I fucking helped her out loads. Dick. Uh, the artifa artifact Volandrag, also known as the Hammer of Might, was forged by the ancient Dwemer. Fair enough. Can I go in his house now? Oh, it's unlocked. I'm just going to walk in. Can't be breaking and entering if the door's already fucking open. Hello? He's going to tell me to get out, isn't he? Yep. Can't the man have a bit of privacy? No, oh, fuck get you then. Here. You're a fucking asshole. I've got your fucking... Ugh. Wake up so I can tell you that the fucking job's done and then I can leave because this place is already fucking me off. Come on, dipshit. Come here. Nasty little buggers are don't like those eyes you got. I've cleared the mine of spiders. Gone? Every one of them? Yes. Why, that's incredible. Well, not really, it was Finally, fucking easy, you pussy. Reopen the mine and put Shore's stone back on the map. Here, please accept this gift as a token of our gratitude. 
No, not bad for six spiders. Don't kid yourself. Stone runs in our group. Well, I don't give a fuck. Right, where am I going? Where do I have to go to drop this ore off? Where the fuck is half you... That bloke. Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's in Riften. Ugh. Hopefully we can get all these miscellaneous jobs done and out of the way. Because they're getting on my nerves. I think today's session is mainly going to be fucking miscellaneous jobs. Although, I'm not entirely sure what the fuck I'm going to call these episodes. I had another run-in with a thief's guild. Be careful, you the thieves guild is made in Blackbriar. I'm the leader of the thieves guild, you fucking idiot. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's stone? Yep, I brought these ore sample from Far Film DR. Thank you. Or whatever the fuck I'll be sure is. to get Elgrim to examine this as soon as his <clears throat> busy schedule allows. Here. I had him make you a few things for all that travel. Oh, it was a Quicksilver. Okay. I've got loads of el elixirs. Uh, I'd like to make an investment in your business. Sure, why not? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Nah. Don't forget us if you need supplies for your journey. I don't really come down here very often. I think I'm going to invest in uh, the blacksmith in... Oh yeah, I forgot to tell everyone that I actually put a skill point into the bartering thing. Uh, we can now invest money into jobs, uh, places. Right, um... Done that. Can't do that at the moment. We could attempt to do this now. Because we can now invest, so I'm thinking maybe we can invest in the store there and that'll count. Although I could be wrong. I don't know where my notes are to tell me if that's true or not, because I did do a bit of research on fucking how to sort out this problem with Valkyrie. So apparently if you do the Brotherhood, Dark Brotherhood storyline first, you pretty much fuck yourself over, you kind of need to do that place first. Wait, I know you. Oh, fuck off. Do you want to... Charge Wait. me? Sure. I know you. Yeah. There's no mistake. Cool. You're a wanted man and it's time to pay for your crimes. Wait, what? I'm with the guild paying 884 gold. Or you caught me, I'll pay off my bounty. Five gold. Good enough. I'll just confiscate any stolen goods you're carrying. Uh you're nothing then. Okay, let's wait a few hours. Then hopefully if we invest in this place, we can finish that job. Why did three people just draw their swords? I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. I can't believe we let provincials like you wander Skyrim. Well met. Unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. I'd like to invest in your business. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Uh, let's see what you can do with this. 500 gold. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Hell yeah, it worked. Steal anything right. from my shop. I've just given you 500 gold. Shut the fuck up. Bitch. Right, where is this bell end? Mr. Sidgear. That Valga is a Apparently, I can't remember if this is true because I did this. I helped them before on my PS3 version. But um, I think you get a house car or whatever, and it's a, like a um, unique one because it's the dual wielding uh, scimitars yes. or whatever the what fuck is it that you want? I've helped you people. Then, by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Falkreath. Congratulations. I grant you a personal house, Carl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. Oh, I'll also you, notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the 
common rabble now. You know that's really rude, right? Blade of Falkyrie. Come. Uh, okay, let's have a look at this blade. It is a steel two-handed sword by the looks of things with a stamina enchantment. See me again sometime. I might have some use for you. And I believe the this Jarl is my house. Has appointed me to be your house, Carl. It's an honor to serve you. Looks like you got someone already. I'm a steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgear and I'm Jarl right behind Dengar you. Before me. You lead, I'll follow. Wait, where is she going? I'm so confused right now. We're going home now anyway, because we need to drop off this sword. Long life to you, Thane. Maybe she'll be there. I'll be back in a minute. Right, what we're going to do now is find the source of power in Mount Anthor. I believe the best way to do that is to fast travel to Sarthal, or whatever it's called, Sarthal, rather than the Forsaken Cave, because if I now I look at it, you could probably just walk up here, like round there. So we're going to fast travel there, and we're going to run up to the top. Because you are a feline race native to elsewhere. It is infamous for... Uh, oh, it is infamous for producing moon sugar, which can be refined into skimmer. Don't know about elsewhere, not the Khajiit. <laughs> Although, I believe a lot of Khajiit do. Oh, oh why is Deathhound attacking me? I'm a vampire. They shouldn't be attacking me. Who sent them after me then? The fuck? That's just rude. You alright, Kena? Are you going to bed, are you? Fair enough. Kena's going to sleep. I don't blame him, it's fucking freezing cold outside. Even with the sun being slightly out, it's fucking horrible out there. Eh. Right. Okay, there's an army helicopter going over. Probably not a good sign, to be honest, but, you know. Guess there's worse signs. I mean, the house could be on fire. Thankfully, it's not. Because, uh, I don't think I'd make it out the house, to be fair. I'd be too busy trying to put the fire out so that none of my PlayStation and all my games get burnt. And my PlayStation 3, and my PlayStation 2, and my PlayStation 1, and my Xbox 360, and both my tellies, and my desk, and my computer. Oh, that's a lot to go down the drain. Not happening. I mean, most of it's not worth much at the moment, but still. Eventually, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, and obviously the PlayStation 3 will be worth quite a bit money to a collector, but right now they're worth probably fuck all. Although the PlayStation 1 did come out a fucking long time ago. Uh, I was only a couple years old when I first got one, I believe. My, I don't know if my uncle bought it for me or not, but I know he bought my first game for me, which was A Bug's Life. Um, obviously the movie, but uh, there was a game made for the PlayStation 1 and it was actually, to be honest, it's still quite fun. I played it a couple, well, about a year ago maybe, maybe a bit longer, just to see what it was like compared to like the graphics nowadays and it's, to be fair, it's probably one of the best games that actually came out on PlayStation 1. Oh here we go, we found our way up here. Um, oh. Oh shit. Let's uh, quick save, just in case we get our ass landed to it. Oh, it's only a revered dragon. I don't know why he just yelled at her, but she just got purple stuff floating around. Are you gonna land or not? I'm gonna have to make you, aren't I? Come here then, bitch. Get near. Oh, he's gonna land. No, he's not. Now he is. You ain't got a choice now, bitch. Land. Oh, I've got some fucking bugs on me. I could have just shot at him. Don't land over there, you fucking dimwit. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, I can't get up. Why is he... Oh, we just run around. Oh, fuck. Oh. Get back down here, you bitch. Right. 
That's it, you fucker. Bitch. No, don't fall off the mountain. I want your shit before you do. Come on then. <laughs> Bye then. Is he going to make it all the way to the bottom? Is he going to... Oh yeah, how many souls have we got now? 25. Whoa, let's go and learn a new word. And... Why is there a fucking alchemy station up here? Like, what the fuck? What are we learning? Well, we got... Flesh ice form. What the fuck does that do? Um, wait, have we already got one? Oh, it's for your theme freezes an opponent solid. Upgrade. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a cave over there. And there's some sort of thing over that way. Let's go and highlight this cave quickly, and then we will go and do... Um, that one, I guess. I don't even know if that's even going to... Okay, it does show on the map. Fair enough. Can I get up here, please? I hate it when you get, like, a mission and it doesn't show you on the map where it is. Like, you can tell it won't. Like, it, it's one of those missions if that little symbol doesn't turn up. Oh, there's a shrine over this way as well, by the looks of things. What the fuck is this? Yeah. Ninja skills. You better stay dead. You fucking bitch. Don't think so. Go back to sleep. Oi. That's enough of that shit. Right, what the fuck is this cave? <sighs> Sightless pit. Fair enough. How far away is that shrine? Oh, okay. We've got to go to that anyway, I think. One of the missions is. Um, is it? Visit the shrine of Azura. Okay, we might as well do that now. We'll just try and get up there. How do we get up there? Jesus, it's all the way up there. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped all this way down. I guess I've got a lot of walking to do then. Can't run, because it's fucking daytime, apparently. This is bullshit. I don't see the fucking sun. This is night time. Why is my stamina not going up? What time is it? Oh, it's 5am. That's why the sun's not out, but apparently they're still classed as daytime. Ooh, have we got any stamina potions? Thank God for that. I know I won't be able to run very far, but at least I'll be able to run a little bit further up. Oh, I see you, you fucker. Guess what? Pop, motherfucker. Oh, do you know what? While we're here, we might as well just fucking do this. Watch this. There. Oh, I forgot I got that to level 100 again. Um, but that's not what we're going to do. Uh, I want to make this legendary. And then we can start working on getting that again. Because we have, if I show you quickly, 
we have the active effect of the Thief Stone, which all stealth skills increase by 20% faster, which is obviously sneaking. And then all skills improve 15% faster because we've got the fucking ethereal crown, so we're going to have two stones. So that means our stealth skills go up 35% faster. That means we're going to speed through sneaking shit now. So we might as well keep that uh, leveled up. And then by the time we actually go to Soul Storm, we'll probably be level 100 again on sneaking. And then we can just sneak around. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to take Lydia with me. Or if I can. I'm not even sure if she can come with me. Because I've never actually been to Zolstone. Even on my PS3 can, uh, edition. Even though I did have the um, DLC for it. I just never got round to going to it. I was just There is so much in this game to do, honestly. That I never got round to doing it. Because I wanted to do everything on this island before I even went there. That's why I barely did anything in the Dawn Guard. DLC on my PS3 either it's because I was just too busy trying to do all the main stuff on the main island and not do any more of the DLC until I'd actually done everything and because I was that like into doing all these weird missions that we were going on like I had so much to do so there was like never any time to actually get on to doing the actual DLCs but what do we even need to do here? Do we just need to turn up? Oh hello there's a person who are you? Azura has seen your coming, Traveller. It was not curiosity, but fate that has led you here. Seen my coming? What do you mean? Azura has given me the gift of foresight. I oh, had a vision okay. of you walking up the steps to this altar long before you were born. You have been chosen to be her champion. I okay. know it is unexpected, but do not worry. It will all unfold as she has predicted. Okay. Very well. What does Azura need? You must go to a fortress, endangered by water, yet untouched by it. Inside, you will find an elven mage who can turn the brightest star as black as night. It Do you want to speak cryptic, in English? I know, but Azura's signs are never wrong. I believe the fortress may refer to Winterhold. Ask if they know this elven enchanter. Okay. I think I may know him. Um, I'd like to know more about Azura. She is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Azura sees into the twilight of the future and guides her followers through it. Okay. Are you all alone here? Yes. There were others at first. But Azura's visions tested everyone's faith. One by one, they left, afraid to know their own future. But I refuse to abandon the shrine. The visions are a gift. Azura warns me of tragedy, war, death. Before it happens, I won't leave her guidance. Fair enough. Where did the shrine come from? My people, the Dunmer, built it. We fled from Morrowind after Vardenfell erupted almost 200 years ago. Those of us who were faithful to Azura were given a vision that led us away from the island before the worst came. This shrine is our thanks to her, that none will forget that she watches over us all. Must have taken about fucking 200 years to build this thing. You would have had to carve it out of the fucking rock that was already here. Sure, we'll go and do whatever you want. Um, where are we going? Um, wait, we won't even do that yet. We'll wait for that. We'll do that in a bit. Um, let's do some more of these miscellaneous quests because I want to get them over and done with. Let's go and talk to this. Oh, I didn't mean to come out of the map. Let's go and talk to this bloke about what's his face. And it is in Markov. Oh, there is. Like, before we even fast travel there, I've got all of these different locations up here. I'm missing so much down here. I'm going to have to spend some time just running around. Like, off camera. The crossbows used by the Dawn Guard fire a deadly shot. First shot, however, they are slow to reload. Well, yeah, we know that. Although, they seem to be alright. If you're at a far distance, the enemy can't really tell whether or not they're actually going to manage to see you. 
Right. Who do we need to talk to? Holmes. I said Holmes, you backfire. You're a triple worker a helping me. What? How about a se Sure. Finally. Now get lost. Excuse me? Do you say something about money? Aye, a whole heap of it. You see that temple? Way up there? All them women keeping to themselves? Won't let poor to gain in, nope. Not even for a look. That's because you're a tramp. Treasure in there. Gold statue size of a child. Who knows what they use it for, but I know what I'll use it for. Not being a tramp anymore? You want me to steal it? Well, let's not put it like that. Why can't you just do it? Thieves guild catching wind of us, eh? I'm nah, the leader, you dumbass. Come in and have a go at taking it out. I'll be here and pay you half of what my man in Riften promised for. You'll be helping out an old beggar and the divine smile on that sort of thing. Fine. We'll do that for you, but you fucking tell me to get lost one more time and I'll cut your throat. I won't even care. Right. I didn't even know there was a fucking staircase here. All this time I've actually been, I ran around Markov loads and did loads of fucking jobs here when I was on my PS3, but I've never even noticed this door here. Oh, we're going to have to wait until daytime. Actually, let's just... Sneak. Uh, let's just unlock it for the sake of getting the experience for the lock picking. And... Now we can wait? No, we can't wait while we're being trespassers. Let's wait outside. And then we'll wait. Alright. Um... That'll be more than enough. We'll go in there at, what, 8? Everyone's usually awake by 8. There we go. Oh, he's not even in there now. Where is he? Oh, he's here. These workers, always complaining, always excuses. Uh, I want you to leave Omlang alone. What? Are you telling me how to treat my workers? Do you have any idea how much metal the Silver Blood family wants us to smelt? Um, you're working him to death. Lay off. All right, all right. You sound like a damn legion officer, but I get it. I'll give him a break. This better not hurt our quota. It won't. Right. <laughs>